The market moves higher as expected into Thanksgiving week. Have the bears hibernated early? This is Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so in yesterday's video, we talked about the fact that this is a holiday week. Volume is down and trading tends to drift up during this week. And that's exactly what we saw yesterday as the market moved higher up over the 45.51 target. And now our next target is 45.85. The question is, are there any bears left? I'll get into that in just one second. But first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. All right, guys, this is Thanksgiving week, and this is my last video of the week, so I do want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who subscribes to these videos, who watches these videos, comments, likes, shares, everything that you do. I appreciate it allows me to live my dream and help people understand their financial security. I appreciate everything out there, and to show you my appreciation, I will be giving you a coupon code for our course later in the video. For now, let's jump into the chart and take a look. Okay, guys, so here we are on the one hour futures chart for the S&P 500. And as we saw today, the market just kind of drifted higher without any real stopping up through that 4541 target that we gave in yesterday's video. And the next target was 4585 through that. And the bears have some problems with any kind of bigger down move playing out. The real number to watch because of contract rolls and the way ES works, the real number to watch is going to be 4607 on the SPX. So that's the sum, uh, summer highs on the SPX chart. If they break through that, then the bulls are in the driver's seat to try to take us toward that 4,900 plus area and new all-time highs into the Christmas time. So as it stands right now, the uh, bears need to step up and hold that 4,607 area, but the next target is 4,585 on the ES. So I know we're on two different charts there, two different targets, but that's what we're looking for. For the bears to get started, 4,541 would be the target number to break to the downside, and then they need to break 4,500. So we have a upper support and lower support, this flag basically essentially that they broke out of right here. They need to break through that pattern and they have to start by getting through the top, which is 4541. And then through that 4500 would tell us that we can uh, look to start pulling back in the bigger pullback, assuming we can then break 4450. So overall, bears need to break through 44, 45, 41, and then 4500. And the bulls would be targeting 4585 on the ES, and then after that, 4607 on the SPX. Over on the NASDAQ. Okay, guys, on the NASDAQ, same basic thing. We're looking at the market drifting higher this week as it did today. They are now looking at 16194 to 16214 as their next target. And their pullback support would start at the 15925 area, and then they need to break that 15800 area to really get the ball rolling to the downside. Once they get through that, the next area they would target would be the 15600 area to tell us that we're likely in a bigger wave to pull back toward the 15000 area or potentially even a bigger bearish outcome. But again, the bulls are in control of this market until we see key support levels break. Guys, if you love the information that I put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me, you need to check out investwithjacob.com. There's a link down in my description. Go ahead and click that link. It'll take you right over to the website. Once you're there, check out our membership plans area. We have two incredible monthly plans, and they both come with a seven-day free trial because I want you to get in there. I want you to make sure you love it and become part of the trading team before you ever spend a penny. You can cancel at any time. We also have our Elliott Wave for Beginners online course, and as I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to give $30 off of this course so you can get it for $37. You use the coupon code TURKEY. All week, it will expire on Sunday. Coupon code TURKEY for $30 off of this course. You would get it for $37. In that course, I'm helping real traders make real money and finally understand the market in a way that makes sense. When you see good news that makes the market go down and bad news that makes the market go up, it can be frustrating and it doesn't make any sense. Elliott Wave gives you the key levels and the understanding of knowing when and where the market should turn and why and what happens when it fails. This course is 25 videos where I go through three different parts. The first is the introduction where we go over the Elliott Wave expectations, the mindset and emotion, the KISS method, and why it works. Then we go through your chart setup and tools, every tool you need to use along with Elliott Wave theory to kind of confirm what you're seeing and how to use them. Then we go through the Elliott Wave for beginners course. In that part, I go through each of the waves, how they work, what they look like when they succeed, what they look like when they fail. I go through the theory of alternation, the corrective depth theory, uh, the Elliott Wave degrees, everything you need to know to understand the market in a way that makes sense. The really cool thing, guys, is if you don't want to pay the $37 in this case or $67, it is included in both of my monthly rooms. So if you become a monthly member, 
you get the course for free. In my first room, the Invest with Jacob room, you get all of my real-time market updates, all of my buy and sell alerts, all of your Elliott Wave questions answered, a midday video where I go over exactly where we are in the counts and what to expect, as well as the Elliott Wave for Beginners course. We trade the SPY and the QQQ, and we day and swing trade, so we do trade quite often in our room. But if you're looking for futures trading, individual stocks, and advanced training, you need to check out PT's Throne Room. In there, you get everything you get in the Invest with Jacob room, as well as individual stocks, futures trading, and PT's reduced risk binary method that absolutely crushes the market. He gets you in at a cheap price and gets you big multiples on your money, and it's how he structures his trades that's so unique. Something you kind of have to see to understand, and that's another reason we give you that seven-day free trial. He also started a challenge account where he put $4,000 into an account, trading mini ES futures, showing you how to build a small account into a large retirement or savings account. Guys, we would love to have you in these rooms so we can all make money together. All right, the key takeaways for today, looking up toward the end of the week, the next target would be 45.85. Again, above 46.07 on the SPX would be an indication that the bulls are fully in control of the market. If the bears can get a pullback, they're going to need to pull through 45.41 first, then 4,500 to get the ball rolling. Over on the NASDAQ, Looking higher toward the end of the week, the next targets would be 16,194 and 16,214, followed by 16,253. If the Bears want to get the ball rolling, they need to break down through 15,925 and then 15,800. Guys, it is the weekend. It is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful time with your family, and I will talk to you next week.